Alright, what's going on guys? As you've seen here, I'm just gonna get straight out of the way. Yeah, I got a haircut. Uh, it actually does... <laughs> oh man, I'm a little sick. It actually looks a little worse on camera. I don't know why. It didn't look that bad yesterday, but I don't know, whatever. Who cares? Anyways, today is March 18th, 2016. Um, I thought that Roy would be coming out the 14th, but he's coming out the 18th because, oh boy, I thought maybe they would release him on a Monday, but no, they're gonna release him on a Friday like they always do. So, what do I know, right? Oh, that camera angle. So yeah, we are gonna pick up Roy, and, um, I overslept. It is 10.04. Is that, is that time right? No, no, it's 11.04 because that, I forgot to change my thing because it's daylight saving time, whatever, we leave it in our head. I got my, I got my receipt right here. Thing is, he, here's a little issue. I don't usually pre-order. I've never pre-ordered an, an amoeba, an amoeba before. Roy is the only exception because Roy is our boy, and I want, the, I want Roy because there is no other merchandise of Roy that you can easily pick up, if not ever. Maybe Japan has some kind of obscure. What is it? Uh, is is it Binding Blade or is it? Yeah, is it Binding Blade? I want to see. I guess you know, sort of seals. That's what it is. Japan might have an, an, an obscure merchandise for that. Maybe even back in the day, probably not so much anymore. But this Roy figure is the only way you can, you know, represent your love for the boy. In the weird way, so that's how you're gonna get it. So I pre-ordered Roy. I think like late February, late late to mid February, because I, I was really excited to get Roy. And, well, the thing is, I pre-ordered it in the city that my campus college is in. And I'm on spring break. I did not know that um, Roy would be available the spring break that I would be off or in, whatever. So, you know, you may ask, you know, why didn't you cancel it? And that's a good question. I didn't think of, I didn't really think about that till, till earlier today. So, uh, instead of canceling it, we're gonna hope for the best, and hope that, hold on, hope that, you know, the GameStop near me, hopefully, again, I don't know, what's that, what's that, what's that? Trailer? Okay. hopefully they can accept my pre-order, you know, I just show them the receipt and we should be good. There is some weird traffic going on. There's just like that one car just sitting there. I was gonna say like I'm like, yeah, down camera. I don't wanna know. Oh, man. So that's what we're gonna do. Now my now my initial plan was because we're, we're we're gonna get Ryu too because we're gonna get R and R together. And my initial plan was to get Ryu at Best Buy. But, uh, GameStop sent me an email yesterday or two days ago saying, you know, I have a $5 coupon, whatever, because of the power-up reward, which I will, after this, I'll definitely not be using again, so I don't mind spending the $5 on it, or redeeming the coupon. So, I'm going to use the coupon on Ryu. I would have liked to do it on Roy, but since I'm going to get two anyways, I guess it doesn't matter which one I use it on, because I don't, I don't really pre-order that. I already gave them my money. At the, at the other store so again we're gonna hope for the best hopefully they will um, I've seen some posts people are saying that they haven't had trouble getting Royal Ryu then again it's still relatively early it's only like an hour after GameStop opened I think they opened at 10 I hope I'm right because that's uh, that's when I was hoping to get up and go so yeah um, before we get there let me just talk about a, a little bit about my Fire Emblem history let's see as most of you as most Americans, you know, we were introduced to Fire Emblem with uh, Melee, you know, with the inclusion of Marth and Roy. And my brother would always pick Marth, I would always pick Roy, and we just had fun battles doing that. Years later did I, did I realize that Roy was statistically and fundamentally weaker than Marth in basically every aspect. Until, you know, Smash Wii U came out, and it's kind of the opposite. That doesn't change the fact that in Roy's game, the game that the, the US never got, which is weird that they haven't still released it, but okay. He's, um, pretty bad. I remember playing that game too, and I didn't use Roy a whole lot. I mean, I only used, like, his other team members, whatever. So I played Fire Emblem 7, hoping that Roy would be in that one. 
Well, I was not in that one. So then I did research and like, oh, he's in Fire Emblem 6. And Fire Emblem 6 never came out in America. I'm like, oh, I guess I gotta find an English patch. And I found an English patch, played it, loved it. And then let's see. I played 7, I played 6. And then I played Sacred Stones, which I believe is 8. Then. I went ballsy and I'm like, you know what? After the Lucina and Robin trailer for Smash Bros., I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna play another Fire Emblem game again. So what I did was, you know, um, I'm like, I played seven, I played six, I played eight. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play five. And little did I know that five was the hardest Fire Emblem game that people, you know, proclaim that it is. And weirdly enough, <laughs> Through the power of save states, I managed to get to the final boss. Now, I'm kind of stuck on the final boss for various reasons. One, um, it might be the version I have and the fact that I'm playing it on my phone, but um, it freezes at certain points when you want to see the stats of a certain enemy or you put your cursor on a certain enemy. The game kind of glitches out and it freezes. Two, unless you know exactly what to do for the final boss, and you don't do it exactly, or you, or you don't plan it out in the beginning, you're gonna get deadlocked. You, you are gonna get stuck, and I basically got stuck. There are so many reinforcements that come in your way. So, kinda stuck. Almost like, there's almost no guarantee of me winning now. Because you have to, I'm not, I'm not gonna explain it, but you have to put space, um, your characters in certain spaces to be a bunch of powerful characters. It's it's crazy, and I understand why it is the hardest Fire Emblem game ever. But now, you know, I'm gonna get into Fire Emblem again. I just ordered Awakening, now that I have a new 3DS. I got it at Best Buy, no, not Best Buy. I wanted to get it at Best Buy, but my discount, I would've got it for like $34. But I'm um, a cheap skip and I wanted to get the best deal I could. So what I did, I went to eBay, took days, but I finally got a good deal. And I got Awakening for $31, including shipping. Shipping is like $2, I got it for like $29. That's really awesome. It was for real? Street Fighter? And honestly, I have no experience. I've had plenty of chances to play. Actually, the only experience I've had with Street Fighter is a 3DS demo on GameStop when the 3DS version first came out in 2011, I think. So, that's honestly my only experience. I don't plan on getting 5 anytime soon. Uh, I'm not saying Street Fighter is a bad game, just never had the interest to do it. I've had plenty of chances, I just never really played it myself. Pokemon Tournament comes out today? And I'm stingy on whatever now. I need to find the job. I need. I, I need to. <laughs> I need to find a like a certain amount of it. What is it? A good amount of income coming, coming my way if I want to get that game. I'm debating whether to get Star Fox Zero now because money is not on my side right now. So yeah, I need to find the job. Anyways, enough of my rambling. We are gonna go pick up Roy and uh, hopefully I get it in my first stop. And if not. I'll have to travel like 25 more miles just to get them. It'll be worth it, but I really hope I don't have to make that extra mile. And I'm not gonna record the inside of the store this time because I have a coupon and it's in my phone. I didn't print it out. I'm sure you can just put in numbers and stuff, you know, on the phone. So I'm not gonna do it in case, you know, he finds out like, like what's the record button do? Because I have, a, I have an app that I can see records. Anyways, I'll see you guys there and um, I'll tell you the good news or bad news. Alright, good news, I picked up Roy, no problem at all, uh, showed her my receipt, uh, all they had to do was transfer, they had to call the other store and they just, you know, picked up a Roy thingy, and I made sure I got the best looking Roy Amiibo, the first one I had, he had like a, a longer mouth, so I didn't like that, so I got the one with the shorter mouth, I don't know if you can see it in this lighting, I'll have to do a close up shot later, but Roy looks really, 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 really good, really good. It's weird that they don't have this sword um, coming coming out like in the trophy, but looks really good. His hair looks really red. His lip is for some reason purple. Looks really nice. Looks really cool. Looks really shiny. Really cool. Um, problem with Ryu. Apparently, I forgot my wallet. So what I have to do now, I have to drive all the way back home, get my wallet, drive back, and pick up Ryu. Or as the cashier say it, Ryu. 
She she mis mispronounced Ryu. I forget how she said it. I think she said Ryu because it's a common mis mis mispronunciation. So I gotta do. I gotta go home. I gotta pick up Ryu. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get a close up of these amiibo when I get Ryu. I can't believe I forgot my wallet. How how do I dress myself? How do I eat food? Brush my teeth. What is wrong with me? Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. But we got Ray. We got Roy. No problem. There are maybe like nine of them. Later. Okay, so we're back, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Roy again because I don't think last time was a good enough shot. So there's the Roy I got. Let it autofocus. There we go. I may have to make sure that the mouth was good because the other one had like a. I don't even know how to describe it. So this was the best one I could find. Looks really good, he looks really shiny. His sword isn't sticking out of the hilt like in the, the trophy in Smash, but what are you gonna do? Um, there's his face right there. It looks more serious. This one looks like, the, uh, again, this is the best one I could find. This is like meh. And then there's the box right here. So that's cool. They they, they missed an opportunity though. They should have done, they should have added um, Bowser Jr's alternate costume, but with, you know, being Roy. But instead, you know, they just used the default Bowser Jr. So, yeah, that's cool. No, no problems here. I like that. I like that the box is green and stuff, and I will definitely be happy to use this in the future. His hair isn't like Play-Doh, as as Play-Doh as I thought. It's a, it's 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 a eh. it's a nice red. So that's cool. Okay, and now we got Ryu. I had to drive all the way back to just get him, and his face. I mean, he looks good. He looks good. No, no real complaint here. He looks good. Only thing is, like, there's a little red where his bicep is. I hate that my camera is like mirrored. I don't know if that's normal. And there's like a little crease where his muscle is, just a little bit. And his face. I don't know. His, his face looks looks a little elongated. But other than that, I mean, it still looks good. Now in the back we got Falco, what Falco being um, fried up right there like chicken, that's cool. It's funny because they did like a joke with that with Roy's um, winning movie thingy in the classic mode. But yeah guys, we got Roy, we got Marth, no we got, we got Roy and we got Ryu, see? Alright, and um, that's gonna be it for this video. There's not much to it anymore with these hunts, so what I'm gonna do now is well I wanted to end it I wanted to end it I I wanted to end these off for a while now but I figured I would end off with Roy because I really 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 out of all the amiibos just about I really wanted the Roy amiibo and now I own a Roy amiibo and this is just awesome because this guy is the guy that got me in the fire emblem and I'm curious to see if any of you guys wait what stage is that oh that's um that's Mario Kart I'm curious to see if you guys got in the fire emblem for the same reason did uh, a character in Melee get you in Fire Emblem, did Marth get you in it, did Roy get you in it, did Ike get you in it? Probably, unless you got referred to a friend. But yeah guys, I'm going to be done with these videos, because honestly, there's not much thrill in it anymore. And let's be honest, like, I guess Nintendo's finally listening and now they've done decent stocks on these things, so... Not much thrill, you can literally go into the store and get one, no, no problem, now where in the past... You had to be there day one to get what you wanted. Now, not so much anymore, which is good for the majority. And I hate the glare in these glasses. It's good for the majority of consumers, but you know, it kind of takes away the thrill. But I'm glad that everyone will be getting their amiibo. Hopefully, they will. Let me know if you guys do. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for these amiibo hunts. Um, all that stuff is corn and bayonetta. That's all I really want. And uh, yeah, it's been fun. I've gotten lots of compliments, actually. Um, People in real life saying, you know, they enjoyed watching these videos. I'm like, okay, okay, yeah, I'm on, like, I'm just talking and going to get these toys, <laughs> these figurines, these cool little figurines. But I'm glad that some of you guys have enjoyed it, and the people who don't care about it, well, I guess, you know, I'm done with these. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to get back to work on a video that I'm actually working very hard on. So until then, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.